Hello everybody and welcome back to the modded character showcase. We are jumping in again and this time we are going to be checking out Abel instead of Adam. I don't really know what Abel's got going on for himself. I haven't actually checked him out yet. Um, but based on the fact that Adam is a fairly simple character, I'd imagine this one is too. We've started with the servant uh, as well as uh, kidney bean, uh, which is the only things we've got so far, which seems pretty simple. Uh, but I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of down with charming. Ooh. I gained damage there? Okay. So, I gained damage based on the amount of charmed enemies in the room, maybe? Hmm. Could be kind of interesting. No, it's not based on the amount of enemies. Hmm. Gain damage when I kill a charmed enemy, maybe? Okay, this is going to take a little bit of working out. Um, I'm unsure exactly what um, what the premise is right now, but we'll work it out, of course. Once again, with this series, we are going for completion marks, so we'll be trying to get as many as we possibly can. There will be multiple episodes of this character and other characters. Um, okay, it seems like when charmed enemies die, we gain a damage boost that um, I don't... It, it seems to last a certain amount of time, uh, but th this could work really, really well with certain items. Uh, so we want to go like that, and then... Okay, I really like this idea. This is cool. This is this is pretty interesting. This is a sort of more specific play style than most. Um, I mean, I guess I'll take that. Somewhat useful. I mean, there you go. We found our crawl space already. We can pump that bomb there. That is not what I wanted to happen from that, but... One, one thing that is a little bit of a shame is it'd be nice if uh, Kidney Bean recharged over time rather than being a one-room usage. It'd mean you could get a little bit more out of it, but then again, that could be a bit strong, so I kind of understand why that isn't the case. We've also got this Servant card as well, which I imagine, based on this character, will just uh, charm every enemy in the room. That would be my most basic understanding of it. So we'll try that out in a room that's got a hefty amount of enemies. We get Hurst Hat here. Um, I'm probably just going to take the damage here because I'm not exactly sure what... Yeah. I'm not exactly sure what to do otherwise. I guess now I can... Okay, doesn't, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Okay, that was some bad damage there, but... Whatever. It is what it is. We got out of it with Hurst Hat, which I think is pretty darn good for us. Um, yeah. So, this is, is interesting as well, so... When enemies kill each other, we also gain the damage. And it does last between rooms, too, so... There is some incentive outside of uh, that. Wait, did we, did we fart on getting hit there? I think we did, you know. I think we also do a charmed fart upon being hit. Which is interesting. Yes, we do. Okay. So, I might actually end up dying here, let's be honest. Uh, let, let's try not to, of course. But there's a chance. <laughs> let's uh, let's scoop on back now over to that heart over there. Um, yeah, okay. I, I like this character a lot. I think this is some really interesting play styles here. Um, and it's unique but simple. Unique but simple is good. That heart's not even available to us. So we might still die here. Let, let's see if we can buy a heart from the shop real quick. Just in case we can't even buy a heart. Oof. Um, while held, certain special rooms will always contain beggars. That's actually pretty good. We'll take that. Um, and I'll grab this as well, just in case. Okay, we'll, we'll try our best to not die here, but there's no guarantee. Um, and I'll also plant a bomb over on the six pots at the other side of the room here. Good, good, good. And I hope we got something good, but sadly we did not. Okay, so we're, we're kind of relying here on euthanasia to give us some good damage. But euthanasia cannot be fully relied on, so... If he, if he gets any more than three spiders, I'm going to use my servant card. The spiders aren't particularly difficult, but it would be a good idea. See, that's that's what we want. <clears throat> want to insta-destroy the head whenever we can. Ah, oh, unfortunate. Okay. So that's not a great start, but we're only on floor one, so let's not worry about it too much. I uh, I played that a little fast and loose there. I, by the way, can we just say how glorious Abel's haircut is? Just glorious. Yeah, so basically my thinking at the moment is we of course want to look out for any item that applies charm to enemies, which there's, there's quite a few out there. There's quite a few charm shot things, so 
Being able to work around charm with other items would be some really strong synergy for this guy, because it does seem that the damage that you can gain is pretty substantial. Like, you can you can gain quite a bit of damage out of uh, the charmed enemy kills. I mean, this is a much better start than the last anyways. Euthanasia's good, but Jacob's Ladder's better. Um, this is going to be good for um, being able to kill said charmed enemies as well. So I do not mind that whatsoever. Yeah. The, the only thing I will say that's slightly unfortunate is the duration of the charm is unfortunately not very long. So you do unfortunately run into the issue of not being able to kill the enemy before they are charmed sometimes. Now, I'll wait until this guy decides to um, spawn some friends in, which he often does pretty quickly before I uh, decide to use my charm, because then at least I can get some damage out of it. There you go. It does actually charm the boss as well, which is not normal, I don't think. I don't think you can normally charm the boss. Why aren't you swiping at me? There you go, swipe at me, you fool. Right, ah, oh, Goddamn, lost a full soul heart there. Oh, and lost a heart as well. Let's try and play better, shall we? Because at the minute, we are not playing well. Right, let's keep it moving. Keep it going. Hopefully we don't die again here. That wouldn't be the best. Curse of Famine. Well, that's very nice. That helps out a bunch. I wouldn't it? It'd be funny if, like, if you charmed him, his own bombs did damage to him. Right. Good few bombs there. Lovely. Very nice. That Degas rune, um, rune stone was very nice. Yeah, and I think as our power increases, as we get more damage, it's going to be even easier to kill said charmed enemies. Therefore, even easier to build our damage. Now, the damage is substantial, but it doesn't last very long. Um, it's kind of something that you've got to constantly be filtering into and constantly be sort of working towards. Otherwise, you're going to negate all that you've gained. Okay, we did nicely get a thingy here. A pot. Good. And we get a little sissy. Oh, ho, ho, baby. Sissy charms things. Look at this. Uh, random spawn spiders uh, charms enemies that come into contact with it. See, we've, we've already got a synergy going. We've already got a synergy going, so we're in the money already. Do you know what would be really good as well? Um, if we get, like, a, a second active with, like, Dull Razor. Hmm, unfortunate. Unfortunate. Now this is a room. Okay, no, that just spawned mini Isaacs. I thought it was going to charm everything in the room, so... Seven doesn't do exactly what I thought it did. Still the... Take the bomb real quick. Yeah, it's hard building up this damage quickly. Hey, more mini Isaacs. I like that. Nice and easy. Almost got enough for a shop as well here. Luckily, Kidney Bean has a good amount of range on it too, so we're able to do quite a lot with Kidney Bean there. But now this guy's going to be pretty good. Okay, unfortunately he wasn't, but there you go. Hey, so we already got an unlock there from something, and we got an Angel deal on floor two? Weird. Um. Okay, let's have a little look-see here. This is kind of tricky. I don't really know what we want here, but I think duality is the best one of the bunch. It's kind of the best of a bad bunch, unfortunately, even though it was a three deal, which is kind of one of the best ones you can get, but the items we had available weren't particularly the best. I wonder if our mini Isaacs have like any more damage or anything. That'd be cool. I doubt it, but unfortunately they're getting absolutely demolished right now. It'd be interesting if, like, charmed enemies took more damage or something. I mean, there might be something like that in here that I'm just not noticing uh, or don't know about. I'm kind of discovering this as we go along here, so forgive me if I don't uh, don't know some of the character's intricacies. But based on the fact that this is a fairly simple character, I imagine that's not the case. Okay, as long as we get, like, one charmed enemy per room, we're at least keeping some of our damage. And in most rooms, we're going to be able to keep more than that. 
Do you know what be good as well? Betrayal, so enemies can have infighting and, like, hurt each other. That'd be nice. Apollyon's crown spawned two permanent abyss locusts as companions. Not bad, not bad. Not bad, not bad. It's a good bit of extra damage there. It's a little difficult prioritizing what enemy to go for. Oh, that one's permanently charmed. <laughs> oh, those dudes give me tons of damage because each segment counts as its own enemy. I got a ton of damage from those. We can hopefully keep that ball rolling. Nice burn heart there. I'm trying to be somewhat quick to try and keep that damage up. It's a little difficult to do, to be honest. But it's, it's, it's actually really nice to have enemies not be shooting at us or running at us all the time when we have uh, the charm on our side. It's quite lovely, in fact. Right, I'm just doing the ring around the rosy here to see what we can get. Okay, apparently I can't charm that pile of detritus. Oops. That's actually a good idea. We could charm an enemy right before it dies. Unfortunate Bernhardt lost there. We could charm an enemy right before it dies rather than at the start of the room to potentially have an easier time of getting, like, guaranteeing the kill. But yeah, I like how it, how it stacks, sort of thing. Pointy rib. Um... I think I'd rather reroll for the chance at an additional sissy. Didn't get a sissy, but did get more tears. Although tear size down again, okay, doesn't seem to do anything good. I think that was good. But yeah, like the more damage you get, the easier it is to kill the charmed enemies, and it just keeps going from there. Good, good. We've got enough for a shop here, so shop is valuable. Yeah, I was hoping for a second sissy there, but can't always get what you want. Birthright. Now, I don't actually know if... So th there's no EID descriptions at the moment, so I don't actually know if this character even has a birthright. In fact, just to check, let's see if the Steam page labels the birthright at all, which I doubt it will, but we'll check. Um, It doesn't look to at the moment, and there isn't currently... A Discord, uh, sorry, a site with all the con uh, all the content on it. So I'm not entirely sure yet, but we'll, we'll grab the birthright and see if it does anything because it might. Uh, it just, but this, based on the fact that this mod is still in the works, it might not be finished yet. Um, if I was to guess what our birthright was to do, I would say that it will increase the duration of our charm or increase the damage we gain per charmed enemy killed. That would be my assumption, but we don't actually know if it's working at the moment, so we can't assume either of those things. It didn't have a description, so I'm going to guess it doesn't work, but let's be hopeful and see. That guy did seem charmed for a fairly long amount of time there. I should really leave an enemy charmed and just see how long they stay charmed for. It might do both the things I, uh, I, I said before, actually. It could do the longer charm duration and the increased damage per charmed enemy. We don't know. It doesn't look like it's, we're getting increased damage per charmed enemy. Oh, wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up. No, okay. I thought I was getting damage from that guy even when he wasn't charmed. The charm duration is definitely increased. Okay. I don't know by how much, and I don't know if it does anything else, but it definitely seems like the duration of charm is, is fairly substantially longer. Uh, we've seen item room, item room, shop. Okay, we're good. Oh god, I didn't realize you'd be putting out spiders. The flies are much easier to avoid. They don't actually chase you down actively. So, okay, they're not too bad at all. Sissy got a bit of charm there as well. The scent is rather nice, thank you. Hello, good sir. Could you destroy this for me? Thank you. That's not what I was expecting out of that, but... Ah, that was stupid. Oh, 
Oh my god. The worst I've ever done against this guy. Lots of soul hearts lost, unfortunate. Okay, so I am going to cheat a little bit here, if I can. Um, I have duality, and there should be an angel deal here. Is there any way to teleport to an angel deal? I don't actually know. I don't even know how I'd achieve this. I want a console command into an angel deal, because I have duality. I should, I, there should be an angel deal here, but I don't know how I do that. One second. Okay, I fixed it. I fixed it. And we get double soul locket, which is interesting. Um, we get stats for picking up soul hearts. I don't know if we'll get two lots of stats now, but I doubt it. Anyways, uh, we could technically try and do Mega Satan here, so let's go for it. I should have done that with my other angel deal that I got, but I kind of forgot that that was something I should be doing. I'm probably going to get hit by these fires at some point as well. Okay, not too bad. Basically, I had to redo the fight and spawn in the Eucharist to fix that. Unfortunately, Duality Bug is still a thing. It's very annoying, uh, but I, I shall not stand for it. I shall not stand for it. What's the point in having Duality if it's not going to work? <laughs> right. Luckily, this guy shouldn't be too hard. I'm, I'm honestly more worried about the fires than I am about the boss. Just because the fires have complete... They're completely random on when they actually shoot at you, so... They kind of have the upper hand. At least the boss, I can kind of... I know what it's going to do. I'm going to try and run him into the fires as well. Thank you, sissy, for charming him. That helps. Okay, and we're good. Okay, we got a key piece. Nice. We shall keep her going. Um... There's this golden chest here, but technically I did already open that chest. It just respawned as a golden chest rather than the uh, gambling chest. So I'm not going to do that. Um, we keep going. Yeah, little little bit annoying. Little bit annoying, but the foibles we have to deal with. Ah ha ha, you slammed down right on Sissy. Fell right into my trap card there. Okay. What am I hoping for next, then? I mean, obviously, Charm Tears would be amazing, especially with Jacob's Ladder. Charm Tears, any sort of tier effect plus Jacob's Ladder is really good. Um, Giganta Bean as a trinket would be really good to increase the radius of our uh, Kidney Bean fart. That would be splendid. So, that's something on our list. There's a few other charming things that are good. Um, there's one of them that makes Charmed Enemies fire our tears. Which is really cool, but that's a bit more of a rare one, I think. What we've got going on in here. Sulfuric Acid is absolutely fine by me. A small damage up, but also the ability to break rocks with our tears is really, really nice. We get ourselves Wisdom, which is second secret room teleport, I think. Yes, it is. Unfortunately, not a great one, but do you know what? That's good for stats. Love that. Okay, good, good. I'm not going to uh, charm this guy. I'm going to charm the ones that he spawns. There you go. We get more bang for our buck here. Oh my lord, yes. That was, that was kind of beautiful. Ah, oh, no. This room we can't really do much with charming. Actually, to be fair, no... Sissy, oh, lining them up and knocking them down, Sissy. You beautiful, beautiful little spidery gal. Oh, that's lovely. Sissy just lined them up in a row, all for us. Ripe for the taking. Uh, what's going on? I thought I picked up a red key, not a green key. Guess I was wrong. So how do I kill this guy then? Okay, there you go. Room was a bit funky, but we got there. Do you know what? I will crack all of these open. Um, I'll be honest, I'm not quite sure why we got either of these items. Um, Morbid Heart and Dead Onion should not be in that chest pool. So, a bit confused about why either of those showed up, but I guess that's something for another day. Dead Onion, of course, pretty good for us. 
Shot speed down, but piercing is very, very nice. And we have plenty and plenty of money for the shop now, okay. Okie dokie. I don't know why my damage was so high, but we've got uh, this defibrillator that we got off one of the bosses, which is attributing to our damage right now. The low shot speed is weird, but shouldn't cause too many issues. Good, good. Ooh. Amplifies books activation effects. It's obviously not good now, but depending on later on how things go, might be something we take. Okay. Not too bad. Reflected pill there. I don't think we need that. Right. Technically, we should actually go in here and uh, and use this at least once. There you go. But yeah, unfortunately, overall, while it's very good, I don't think it's going to be better than our charm. And also, I'd rather not take away the character's main sort of gimmick. Okay, unfortunately, that, that charm missed out everything there. I just... It'd be nice if this guy had an inherent, very low chance to charm on hit, maybe. Uh, not not to the same degree as, like, charming tears would have, but, like, just, just a little bit to make it so that Kidney Bean isn't completely your only way of charming. Obviously, you can get hit, but that's not something you want to be doing. Um, it'd be nice to have, like, one other activation method. Got a red rune there, nice. Um, okay, we got 20% chance to give a bonus charge on room clear. Okay, and so unfortunately that doesn't do much for us. Once per floor when entering a shop, a weapon beggar will spawn. Weapon beggar takes coins and spawns only active items from every pool. Three active items are spawned for one beggar before it leaves. That's not great, but it's interesting and it's new, so I'm going to take it. Also gives us a pretty wicked looking head. Right, charm these two so they start fighting each other. Ow. Good, good. And then there's our actual deal this time. Uh, a yellow locust that has decreased speed and damage and increased tick rate. Yeah, I'll take that. Um, and then we've got salvation, which I haven't had in quite some time. I love Salvation as an item, it's really good. The more we get hit, the better it is. Right, there's our key pieces at least. We can keep on going now. We've got Mega Satan locked in and ready to go. Um, right. We need, like, what we need really now is, like, one more damager. Ow. Slightly annoying of you to do that to me. Um, I think I'm just going to bomb this. And spend my money here. Trying to get soul hearts. Or a better trinket. Here are three trinkets. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Status effects applied last twice as long. Oh, beautiful. That's amazing. And then we've also got 2% chance, um, Fire of Rift, and Blind Page. Now, we're definitely going to take Second Hand. Second Hand is kind of amazing. I'm pretty sure uh, the status effects does include Charm. So, if I was wrong about um, Birthright, which I don't think I am, then uh, we've got some really, really long tiers. But if we are wrong about it, then... Uh, at least we're getting something with the extra. Ow. My bad. Yeah, I kind of need to test out the charm. Right. So let, let, let's do some testing here. So hit you once. Uh, naturally, sorry, no. Let's... Let's drop this, and then do that. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, five seconds. And then we'll check in the next room if that's doubled to ten seconds. Oh, so here's this beggar guy here. Okay. 
It didn't give us anything. I'll try and pay him out. I'll try and pay him out. Why not? I just want to see what he gives us. Activate him from any, any pool could be interesting. See, we got blank card. That's pretty goddamn good. Unfortunately, I'm not taking it, but pretty goddamn good. Also, the item gives us a pig head too, which I think is pretty cool in itself. Plus three fireballs, might as well just pop. Right, so we're going to test this out in this room here. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, okay. It did die, but it definitely doubles it. Good stuff. We can't obviously test without with and without Bearthrite, so I'm not sure if Bearthrite is helping, but I'm going to say that it is. I'm just going to say that it is. Lovely few pennies there, thank you. Yeah, my fart distance just needs to be much, much larger. My radius. I'm not hitting some enemies I feel like I should be hitting. Good, good. Yeah, I gotta say, maybe he should just start with this trinket. <laughs> Having him start with this trinket would make him a lot more viable. But I kind of get why he doesn't, but it, it, it would be it would be nice. Oh beautiful. We've got a pretty interesting run going on here. Pisces is good stuff, I like that. I liketh the Pisces. I should get a good bit of damage there as well. Distance. Full card, I don't think we need. We've seen shop and item room here. Definitely want to pop this whenever we can, Salvation. Lovely stuff. And we'll go this way. We will, of course, try Boss Rush if we can. Ooh, there's some choices here. I mean, Ipecac, of course, once again, very good. But I think I'm going to take Heal Spare, because Heal Spare just increases our damage by a ton when we're moving. Now, bosses. Bosses being charmed and damaging each other is rather nice. Salvation's really going to be the key here, though, I think. Okay, so you've got lasers, but so do I. Just gotta remember to keep moving. Spawn a golden troll bomb. Technically, I could, like, use that to my advantage. Uh, this guy is, um... Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting the off-screen indicators isn't working at the moment. I don't know why. I think it's something to do with Repentagon. I'm sure it'll be fixed in due time. That's right, my pretties. Fight each other. Oh no. You got me. Oh my god, having salvation here is just lovely. Yeah, also heal spare over Ipecac, just because just Ipecac's dangerous. Okay, almost good with this. Hopefully we don't lose our morbid heart too quickly. Oh, there you go, it's gone. <laughs> I said that and immediately lost it. Hopefully we don't lose our burn heart too quickly. <laughs> Used that a bit early there. But luckily, getting hit like this has made our Salvation Ring absolutely gigantic, which is very fun. Okay, you're not hitting me good. Oh, man. Salvation, it's been so long since I've had this item. So, so long. Nice. Most things can't hack this. 
Most enemies don't stand a chance. Unfortunately, we ain't getting a lot of charm damage right now, but... I think this late into the game, the charm damage becomes pretty secondary. Still, the char like, be charming enemies is still a good thing, but trying to play it for the damage specifically is not as necessary once you're this late in, because you should have enough damage to make things work. But yeah, it tells us when they're off screen, but it doesn't tell us where they are off screen. Should be nearly done now. Should be nearly done. Come on, you, you're almost there. Hey, ball of beans. And we get malice. Unfortunately, malice, I shall not be taking you on this, this day of days. I will be continuing on into the sunset. Ah, <laughs> my salvation circle. It's so small now. Ow. Sulfuric acid. How dare you. Yeah, it's still worth charming enemies, especially with the second uh, hand thing, whatever it's called. The trinket that we've got. But the damage it's, that we're gaining out of it now that we've got heal spare is, I wouldn't say irrelevant, but not as necessary. Good. I'm gonna look for a red heart whenever we can get one. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter that red heart is no longer necessary. Ah, you. How dare you. Good, good. Very quick flaw. Very quick and easy. I like it. So far, I'm really enjoying this character though. I like characters that have like a gimmick that helps them out early game. Yum Heart would be good. Still going to stick with the charm, though. There's a lot of enemies that the charm helps a lot on, just for getting them off your back more than anything. Just having them not be attacking you. Trying to make Salvation work with some of these enemies is a little sketchy. But still worth it, I think. Okay. Oh, good. Don't even know what to think of this room. Room over? Yes, it is. Okay. Okay, I can't apparently charm that guy. I've tried charming those a few times and it just doesn't work. Got all of them. Our kid. Nah, I'll give him five cent. Why not? Give me some damage. Not bad, not bad. I mean, it's 0.5 on, on the 26 damage I have while at full speed. It's not exactly killing it, but... I got to step back now. Don't think we're going to... Yeah, I guess I didn't think we were going to beat next phase, but you gotta you got to have her. Ow. Ow. Right, hushy baby. We've made it to you in plenty of time. Uh, this is kind of tricky. I think this is better, but it can be a little laggy. Uh, but double damage to bosses with bombs is really good. If we had more bombs, I think I'd take that. I think for right now, this is going to be the better option. Unfortunately, we don't have the full amount of keys required to open up everything here. But we don't particularly need our shop, so that's fine. Um... This is tricky. This 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 is like basically gonna make us invincible. But this with piercing is just too good not to take damage wise. Um, we already have invincibility, don't we? Oh, was that the first run? Okay, we don't. Okay, um, we will take this then. Just give us one key. There you go. Why not? And then we got Lovers here, which is actually pretty good to take with us. The Charm, obviously, is going to be pretty useless now. Okay, yeah, I was I was right about taking Tech Zero here. I did not think it would be this crazy with uh, these white shots, whatever they're called. The shotgun shots, but seems pretty crazy with them. Pretty laggy with them, but pretty crazy. 
I don't really know what it's doing. Normally it just hits the enemy and carries on, but... Yeah, this item's interesting because it's, it's good, but it's laggy as hell, all hell. It's always like a bit of a two-sided coin whether to take it or not. So it does make the runs a little harder to experience. But you can see the amount of damage it's doing for us, um, especially with Tech Zero. I'm very glad I took Tech Zero. I think it should just fire a little less often, to be honest. Like it's very, like it's a 23 item, so it should be good, but it is very common. It's like once every couple of shots. It should be like lead pencil, whereas after a set amount of shots, which I don't think it is. I think it's like a random chance. Whatever it's doing with Tech Zero. Oh, I kind of forgot about Salvation. Unfortunately, the radius obviously isn't very big right now, so... And also, this, this shotgun blast knocks you back when it fires as well, which can be a little frustrating in situations like this where we're trying to stay very still. Oh my god. I think Tech Zero is the main thing that's lagging, to be honest, but... We're getting through it, we're getting through it. We're almost there. You done? Done being underground? There you go. Yeah, see that? Just did it randomly a bunch of times. Calm down, fellas. Can you stop going underground, you shit? Why is my um, thingy not hitting him? Okay. Health is not great right now. I think it's like belly jelly is the sound it makes when it fires, which is a strange sound to pick for it. Oh, I didn't mean to pick up that, that heart. God damn it. That was my rainy day fund. Can you get out of the goddamn ground? I don't like being a complainer, but that is one thing I'll never not complain about. <laughs> so frustrating. One of the mechanics in so many roguelikes that I just, I don't know why developers keep using. It just seems really lazy to me. Oh, we can't think of an attack pattern. Let's just make it so you can't do damage to it for a while and have to dodge its attacks. Okay. Good, good. Patient Zero unlocked as well. And up we go. So the lag shouldn't be as bad in these rooms. I don't know why the shots are like circling around the enemies rather than hitting them at the moment. Is that something to do with having piercing? I think it is. I mean, it's good for Tech Zero. I did take Tech Zero because we had piercing. That was the main reason I took it. Okay, you're knocking this guy around way too much to keep an eye on what's going on here. He's going to lob his little green guy at me and I'm not going to see it coming. Oh, we're going to kill him very, very quickly. That also works. Okay. Health is still not in a great spot, so look out for Tinted Rocks and the like. I'm hoping um, having Sulfuric Acid Tears will solve some of that for us in terms of finding stuff by accident, like we did with this. Spawn a glitched item similar to those. Ooh. 13 of stars. This could ruin everything. <laughs> I took this on a very large gamble. That could ruin absolutely everything. I'm guessing that's a, a card that can only spawn in secret rooms. Or via very specific methods. Because that's such a random card. That's a very strong card. Potentially. Although it's potentially ruining cards. It's kind of an interesting one. It doesn't look like it's done anything crazy for us right now. Apart from give us some stats. I don't see anything spawning when we kill stuff or anything like that. Eternal heart there. I'll just take. If I can keep the eternal heart alive. I'll be happy. But I'm not going to bank on it. Radius of Friendly Creep, unfortunately, doesn't do anything for us. Right, this guy should get pretty much wrecked. 
As long as I don't get hit by the beams here, we should be okay, but I cannot guarantee that because I don't really know how the beams work now. Not all the patterns, at least, because there's multiple patterns nowadays. Right, good, good. No unlock for Isaac, or there you go, sugar. Oh, we have keys. Um, yes, and yes. Probably should have done it the other way around with pentacles. Which one the guy will keep for the actual fight? But bombs, not bad. Oh, yes, we are killing enemies at alarming rates right now. I like it. Good amount of bombs as well to work with. Half decent HP right now. Might nice have some soul hearts to back me up, but we'll see. Still don't really know how this guy works right now. Like, is he invincible right now? It seems like he is. Is he gonna... Gonna get down from the ceiling at any point? There you go. I got hit for all that. God damn it. This mumbo jumbo got me hit. Hey, there's a key for our last chest here. Sadly, it was not a good idea. Oh, dude, the damage. The damage from this synergy we've got going on right now is exquisite. Some hearts, lovely. What we like to see. Oh, God, everything charmed each other then. Sibling baby. No chest yet. I'm going to come back for that key. We'll see if we need it. God damn. What a crazy run this has been towards the end here. Onk, obviously not great in terms of completion marks, but it does keep the run alive. If we were to die. Kui! Familiar that charms the non-boss enemy with the most health in the room. Beautiful. Now that is a good synergy. Obviously, doesn't really help us now because mainly we're fighting bosses, but pretty cool nonetheless. Means there's always... In fact, in fact, I think it means that if we kill enemies se sequentially, Kuti will move to the next enemy and charm them next. I need to test that out. I think that's how that'll work. Right. Again, shouldn't have too much of an issue with you, especially once we fire off a good few of our shotgun shots and get the whirlwind of death spooling up. The tornado of homing death. Last phase. There we go. Yeah, I really love this synergy. It's laggy, but it's, it's cool. Unfortunately, I got hit there. I don't really see by what, but I'll accept it. Okay, back we go. I'll do some of these extra rooms here because we've been getting lucky with chests so far. In fact... In fact, in fact, in fact. Oh, I can't bomb myself. Is there a fire or something I can use somewhere? Basically, I want to increase my salvation radius. Damn it, there's nothing to hurt myself on. Absolutely nothing to hurt myself on. Cool. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I 
I'm going to say, the bigger I can get my Salvation Radius, the better it'll be for actually using against Mega Satan. Oh, I didn't mean to finish that room. Wait, can I hurt myself on this? The spikes here. No, I can't hurt myself on that either. God damn it, game. Where's the things to hurt myself on over here when I need them? Not a single room in here where I can hurt myself. I have bomb immunity. It doesn't help. I need to remember that I can heal myself with bombs, though. That's going to be super useful later on. Does not look like it. God damn it. Okay, anyways, let's just go fight the boss. It's it's big enough to be happy with. Right. Hello, good sir. How are you today? Good, good, good. As long as it can hit more than one enemy at a time with it, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it, I think. Salvation, that is. Okay, he's gonna... He was gonna brimstone, but then he gave up. Don't even know what the other enemy that spawned there was, but it's dead now. Explosions can't hurt me. There you go. And in come the angels. You stand right here. Where's the hell out of him? Bomb myself to get that health back. And stand right here again. Every hit as well increases my salvation damage. Okay. Kind of buggered that one up a little bit. Damn it. Lost my burn heart. That's not good. It's okay. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Old bandage is going hard right now. Okay, you are very nearly dead, good sir. Will we get Delirium once again on this series? The second time in a row, we'll see. No, unfortunately not, but there you go. We unlocked the D3. Hope you guys did enjoy that, and yeah, see you guys in the next one.